लेटली हैव यू बिन फीलिंग लाइक पापा बोल रहे बी टेक कर लो पर मुझे तो लिटरेचर पढ़ना है विच कोर्स मेक्स द मोस्ट मनी राहुल्स टेकिंग हिस्ट्री सो आई एल ऑल्सो टेक हिस्ट्री इफ यू आर फीलिंग ऑल दैट यू हैव प्रॉबली ईदर जस्ट फिनिश स्कूल और यू आर अबाउट टू कंग्रेचुलेशंस दैट मीन्स यू हैव लाइक थ्री टू फोर गुड ईयर्स लेफ्ट एंड आफ्टर दैट इट्स ऑल गोइंग टू बी डाउन हिल इन दिस वीडियो आई गिव यू सम टिप्स दैट विल हेल्प यू डिसाइड हाउ यू कैन पिक फर्दर कोर्सेज सो लेट स्टार्ट डिस्क्रीमर दिस वीडियो इज ओनली मैन फॉर स्टूडेंट्स हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन स्टार्टिंग ह्यूमैनिटीज फर्दर I am no expert. In fact, I am an idiot. The information in this video is based on personal experiences and everything I have seen around. This is just something I wish someone had told me. Keep in mind that you should not be allowed to make such a big decision. You are what 18, 19, maybe even 17, and you have to pick something to commit to for the next three years and possibly the rest of your life. It's an incredibly hard decision to make, so just keep that in mind as you go through with the process. If you're someone who's confused who hasn't had much experience with the outside world pick something that gives you the most options this would be a BA with a triple major if you're not 100% in love with the subject like history or english don't go for a history honors or an english honors because it severely limits you and i almost went for an english honors and i'm so glad i didn't When I was applying to colleges, I was taking English honors everywhere, and for a few colleges where there was no English honors program, I took like a combined humanities program, which would be like philosophy, literature, history, and like combined, uh, a combined course of them. And luckily, I didn't get into any college except this one college, which was offering me a combined humanities program, which would teach me English, history, and philosophy. What you need to understand is that studying in college is completely different than studying in school. In college you actually have to think and apply yourself. And although I wanted to study literature, having that background in history and philosophy actually really helped me understand and appreciate literature way more than I could have before. Yeah, and after 3 years, I realized how limited the scope was just with an English literature degree, so I wanted to go study something else. something that was more interdisciplinary and maybe more professional and at that time having history and philosophy and literature combined subjects really opened up many doors for me there were more employment opportunities plus i met more eligibility criteria for many more courses abroad and in india so that was like a huge plus for me anyway in humanities all the subjects borrow from each other history will have literature and it philosophy in it and everything same goes with other subjects in the humanities as well so if you start off with a broader base and after that you decide okay this is the one subject that i really like you can go on and further pursue a masters in it but for your bachelors i'll really really recommend that you have as broad a base as possible so pick something that gives you the most options now here is the last bit of the conversation So I got a few DMs from people who were like I want to study humanities but my parents want me to do BTech or medical. And I would say that if you can't stand up to your parents and if you need to financially support your parents someday, then go for those degrees. That is completely okay. Think about why do you want to study humanities? If it's as simple as I want to read more books or I really like this one philosopher and I would like to know more about it. you can still do those things while being in other degrees what makes humanities really unique is that everyone needs it everyone not everyone needs to know how to credit and debit not everyone needs to know python but we could all use humanities and that really shows when you're in research and you see how many diverse fields of research are there in the humanities you have digital humanities you have environmental humanities you even have medical humanities so just because you're in some other degree doesn't mean that you can't be a humanities student you still can be there are so many resources out there there are so many papers you can read you just won't have a degree and even as a humanities graduate i feel like i've gained so many skills critical thinking this new found perspective in life and the world and so much more but when it comes to an actual job in the workplace i'm never going to be able to use what i really learned in the job So for me also this time and the straining has ended. 
so right now i'm going to do i'm going to spend all of my life be still being a humanity student but actually learning most of it outside work 